Chapter 3, Lesson 8, Divide Decimals by Decimals. You will be able to divide decimals by decimals. When dividing by decimals, you change the divisor into a whole number. To do this, start with the number on the outside and move the decimal over as many times as needed to make it a whole number. Then move the decimal inside the box the same amount of times. Then divide as usual. So here's what I mean. We have 1.71 divided by 0 0.9. Well, 0 0.9 goes on the outside and 1.71 on the inside. However, I don't know multiples of 0.9. That would be too difficult for me to do quickly. So what we can do, I can move this over 1 to make it a whole number, a whole number of 9. But I need to move this decimal over one spot as well. And I'm going to put that decimal point right in my quotient and divide as normal. So really what we have, and I'll rewrite it, although you don't have to, is we have 9 into 17.1. Okay? There is, again, no need to rewrite it, but just so you can see where I'm going with this. 9 goes into 17 once, which is 9 times. Subtract and get 8. Bring down the 1. 9 goes into 81 9 times, which is 81. So our quotient here is 1.9. Letter B. 0 0.6 into 2.64. So to make this a whole number, move it over once. Move it over once in the in the box and bring our decimal point up, our new decimal point. And then this is a whole number of 6. 6 goes into 26 4 times, which is 24. Subtract and get 2. Bring down the 4. 6 into 24 4 times. Subtract and get 0. Our quotient is 4.4. Letter C. 54.4 divided by 1.7. I need to move my decimal point over to make it a whole number. I will do the same here and put my decimal point in the answer in our quotient. 17 goes into 54. Well, let's do some multiplication here. Let's try three times. 51, so... I would say 3 times, which is 51. Subtract and get 3. Bring down the 4. 17 goes into 34 twice, which is 34. So our answer here is just 32. There's no need to write the decimal in our answer since all of our digits are before the decimal point. Letter D. 8.424 divided by 0 0.36. Now in this division problem, we actually have to move it twice. So we're going to move the decimal twice on the inside as well and bring the decimal point up. So 36 into 84, well I know that would be twice because 36 times 2 is 72. Subtract and get 12. Bring down the 2. This one I don't know. Let's try 4. <laughs> 144, I believe, is too much. It is, so let's try 3. 108, it is. So 3 times, which is 108. Do some borrowing. We get 14. Bring down the 4. And I believe 144, yep, looks like 4 times. So our quotient is 23.4. Letter E, 0 0.007 into 0 0.0063. I have to move it three times now 
So move the decimal three times inside and put the decimal point above. So all the zeros before really don't mean anything. We're looking at just seven. Seven into six, zero times. Into 63, exactly nine times. Minus 63 is zero. That was a nice easy one. It looked more complicated than it was. 0 0.9. Letter F, 52 divided by 0 0.4. Now this is an interesting one. We have to move the decimal point over 1, but there's no visible decimal point in 52. Remember the decimal point is at the end of the number. If I put it in front, it'd be 0.52, and that's not the same as 52. If I put it in between, it'd only be 5.2. But if I put it at the end, it's still 52. That's why it goes at the end. But I moved it one over here, so I need to move it one over here. Now that might look a little weird. I'm going to put my decimal point up. This gap has to be filled with something, and that something is a zero. So now let's do our division. 4 into 5 once. Minus 4 is 1. Bring down the 2. 4 into 12 three times, which is exactly 12. You must bring down that 0, which is 0 times. So our quotient is 130. Looks a little weird. 52 divided by 0.4 is 130, but I assure you it is the correct answer. 0 0.009 divided by 0 0.18. We need to move our decimal point, it looks like, twice this time. 18 goes into 0, 0 times. It goes into 9, 0 times. I have to add a 0. So let's see here. 18, let's try 4 and see where that takes us. 18 times 4 is 72. Let's try one more. 18. Yep, there's our 90, and it was 5 times. So 0 0.05 is our quotient. Letter H. 11.2 divided by 0 0.07. I need to move my decimal point over twice, so I need to move it twice here. Put your decimal point up and fill in that gap. 7 goes into 11 once. Minus 7 is 4. Bring down the 2. 7 into 42 6 times, which is 42. Subtract and get 0. Bring down the 0. 7 goes into 0, 0 times, subtract, and get 0. So we are done. Our answer is 160. How many times as many Internet users are there in Japan than in Spain? Round to the nearest tenth. So we are focused on Japan and Spain, and this is in millions. So our division problem is 127.4 divided by 40.4. It does say to round to the nearest tenth, so we'll keep that in mind. I need to move my decimal point over once. We are doing 404. Well, I don't know my multiples of 404, so let's start with a plain 2. 808. Eight. That seems a little low. Let's try 3. 12, 12. What do we have here? 1274, so that's pretty good. Minus 12, 12. 2, 6. Bring down a 0. 620 would be once. Minus 404. Do some borrowing. I know it says to round to the nearest tenths place, which is one digit. But in order to round to that one digit, we need to go one more. We need to see what this next number is. So when it tells you to round to a specific digit, go one step further every single time. 
So 2,160. Well, these are a little low. Let's try five. Two thousand twenty. Oh, that looks like it's gonna work here. Minus two thousand twenty. Zero, four, one. Oops, what was two thousand twenty? It was five times. I forgot to put the five up here. Now we can stop. My guess is this will continue to go on, but we can stop because we have the digit we need to round to. So everything before this underlined digit stays the same. So it will say three point something. And we need to determine is the one going to remain a one or is it going to be a two? To do that, we look to its neighbor on the right. Because this number is five or greater, it means I add one more. So three point two. How many times? 3.2 times. Alicia bought 5.75 yards of fleece fabric to make blankets for a charity. She needs 1.85 yards of fabric for each blanket. How many blankets can Alicia make with the fabric she bought? So we are doing 5.75 divided by 1.85. Okay. I have to move it over twice, so I'll move it over twice. And we're doing 185 into 575. Mm, let's try and multiply by 3, although I think it might be too much. Oops, yeah, 555, is that too much? Oh, it's not, okay. And that was three times. Zero, two. Bring down the zero. It can go in once. Minus 185. It's 15. Bring down the zero. Now this is going to continue on. However, we already know the answer to our question. It says how many blankets can she make? Blankets are a whole number. So if this goes in 3.1 times, that tells me she can only make three blankets. You need to round to a whole number, round down to a whole number in this case. Let her see. The average person's stride length, the distance covered by one step, is approximately 2.5 feet long. How many steps would the average person take to travel 50 feet? So, we are going to take 50 and divide it by 2.5. Move the decimal over 1, and remember our decimal is at the end of a number if it's not visible. Move it over 1, fill it in with 0. 25 into 50 is twice, minus 50 is 0, carry down the 0, and 25 into 20, or 25 into 0 is 0, subtracting it 0. So how many steps? 20 steps. Alaska has a coastline of about 6.64 thousand miles. Florida has about 1.35 thousand miles of coastline. How many times more coastline does Alaska have than Florida? Round to the nearest tenth, if necessary. So if we're rounding to the nearest tenth, we need to go one more digit than the tenths place, which is the hundredths place. So we are doing 6.64 divided by 1.35. We need to move our decimal point two to the right in both locations and put it up in our answer. 135 into 664. Let's try five and see where that takes us. Oh, well, looks like it's too much. Yep, so we need to do four here. So four is 540.
bring down a zero. And I'm going to guess high on this one. I'm going to guess nine. That might be too high. Nope, nope, it's not. So nine. And notice how I added uh, the zero here and brought it down. Bring down another zero. It will only go in here once. And I can stop. Since I'm rounded to the tenths place, I went one digit further and I can just stop. So this would be four point. I look next door, this is less than five, therefore this remains a nine. So 4.9 times. And you could say times um, as many miles of coastline. Okay, but 4.9 times is fine.